at this place in history, we're in Barnet with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. What are we talking about today? So we're going to talk about a subject that's a little near and dear to my heart. We're going to talk about the Stevens family, most specifically Henry Sr. and Henry Jr. Henry Sr. started the Vermont Historical Society. No way. Yeah. Okay. So in your line of succession. That's right. He was the very he was the founder and the first president of the Vermont Historical Society. He was born in 1791, so the year Vermont became a state, but he was a self-taught historian and he loved Vermont history and really kind of put himself out there as the expert and he collected books lots and lots of books and manuscripts and he decided by the 1830s and he was a state legislator by the way and he started by the 1830s that Vermont like all the other New England states really needed a historical society so he, he, he pushed other legislators to put forward legislation to create the Vermont Historical Society so in 1838 our society was created so we've been around for that long and his collection became the basis for the Vermont Historical Society Library. And the society met at his house here in Barnet for the first few years of his existence before it started meeting in Montpelier. I think one of the really sad things that happened, one of these vagaries of history, was his whole collection uh, was installed at the Vermont Historical Library in the State House. And in 1857, the State House burned. Right. And that whole collection was lost. And I can wow. only imagine what incredible gems of Vermont history were lost in that in that fire yeah. but kept rebuilt and of course we now have this wonderful great state historical society did he stay at the helm until his death he did not uh, he he gave away the presidency but he certainly stayed involved uh, mm -hmm. and he was on the, the board they called them curators so the board of the historical society were called curators and he stayed at that until his death. Another great legacy of Henry Stevens Sr. was his son, Henry Stevens Jr. And we also commemorate him with the sign here in Barnet. His son followed in his dad's footsteps in really loving um, history and in a broader sense, American books. And he became a rare book dealer. So he went to Middlebury College, then he went to Yale, and then he started at Harvard. And then he ended up going to England and on a trip but ended up staying for the rest of his career and opened a rare book or a bookseller um, firm which is still in business today oh, wow. and he collected books from all over Europe that he would then send back to America and it formed the foundation of the Library of Congress. He sent them to John Carter Brown and became the foundation of Brown University's library. He sent them back to Lenox and they became part, um, you know, of these great, the New York Public Library. So all of these great libraries in the U.S., he was their agent in Europe. Huh. And then on the other way, he came back to the United States and he bought books here and he helped create the American literature and the American document collection of the British Library. A very outsized impact of this Stevens family on the history of Vermont, but also on American history in general and how we remember that. At this place in history.